David Lambert on 2XM. Hello and welcome to Garage and Galaxy's Akrin in the Nog with me, Dermot Lambert, on 2XM, online and all over the place. So after two years of lockdown and after us doing a huge special last year with musicians aged 12 to 18 for Akrin in the Nog, where they all told us what they loved about lockdown, this year we've gone completely the opposite way and we have eight live venues all over the country, from Donegal to Kerry, Wicklow Water for Tipperary, Mead, Castlebany and of course Dublin. Uh, we're going to kick things off this year on this giant show which is going to run from now until about 10 o'clock tonight. Uh, we're going to go over to live stages. All the stages I just mentioned there are going to go live at 12 uh, p.m. and they're going to run until 5:30 p.m. and we're going to show uh, the whole lot all here, all day. Okay, so stay tuned. And uh, we are going to kick things off with uh, one of the superstars of last year's show. This is Japanese surf fishing. Trip last night down Ragland Road on a coast like I Killing our phones and whispering through her mouth That's when I knew she had drunk in her grips To resist, I'm good like a spotlight. Nothing good ever happens with bank out oil. Those melted lips. 
that was Japanese sword fishing. Now, Japanese sword fishing can't be with us live this year for Garage Land Galaxies. So what we did is we actually took them into Fibber McGee's uh, during the last couple of months and we filmed a whole set of them. So you can enjoy them throughout the day. Um, one of the bands that will be playing live is KCD, who are going to be in Castle Blaney, in the Unters Theatre in Castle Blaney. Um, but before we go to KCD, we're going to go over to another person who's going to be live today, also in Castle Blaney, and this is the wonderful Orla McDermott. By the way, this is Garage Land HQ. Uh, we're all set to go. And take it away, Orla. When it rains, it pours, but you didn't even notice. It ain't raining anymore. It's hard to breathe when all you know is the struggle of seeing above the rising waterline. Now the sky is finally opened. The rain winds are blowing, but you stuck out in the same old storm again. This 
Welcome back to Garrison and Galaxies at Queen in the Low with me, Dermot Lambert. And of course, this is all pre recorded, so I'm not really here at all. But at 12 o'clock, I will be really here, and it's all very, very confusing because there'll be bits of me that's really here mixed with bits of me that's not here already or has been here in the past at some stage. And the only person that could possibly understand the internet of, the, of that kind of thinking is the wonderful, brilliant John Leo from Cork.
but no sound is coming out. It was here, where's it gone? I can see you sing that song, but no sound is coming out. on Cooney and Oak and on RTE2XM. And that is the wonderful John Leo and we had John on last year and um, he was fresh getting over his heartbreak from Daft Punk splitting up so we hope you're feeling a bit better now John and we can do everything we can to support you in your music as you go forward with all that. So what's going on today? You're not going to have to look at me all day by the way. Uh, we have eight locations. We have live stages in Donegal, Waterford, Wicklow, Dublin, Tipperary, uh, Kerry, Mead and Castle Blaney. Um, we, we also have some wonderful presenters in some of these locations. So in Castle Blaney we have uh, Brona Joyce and Connell Sheeran, so a big shout out to Brona and Karen, who are going to be taking the stage from 12 o'clock uh, over there. Um, in the uh, National Concert Hall we have Shannon Keenan, and thanks very much Shannon for coming on board as part of the team today. In Waterford we have the fabulous Roddy Clear, uh, who everyone who knows Roddy knows the work he's been doing for years for Irish music and new musicians. We of course have our own Ayanna Church who's going to be coming in and out of uh, links with me during the course of the day. In Donegal we have Kyle O'Neill who's also going to be playing as part of Boy M5 as one of our guests and we have John Bourne in Wicklow. So I want to say thank you to everyone involved. We're also going to have a, a, a huge workshop featuring some of the top people in the Irish music business who are going to have hints and uh, little kind of uh, bits of wisdom for you throughout the day. And in the meantime now we're going to go back to, over to Alana Pierce. What is hiding in those weak and drunken hearts? Guess you kissed the girls and made them cry. Those hard faced queens of misadventure. God knows what is hiding in those weak and sunken lives. Guess a fiery throng of muted angels giving love but getting nothing back. Oh, People, help the people And if you're homesick Give me your hand and I'll hold it People, help the people And nothing will drag you down Oh, and if I had a brain Oh, and if I hiding in this world of little consequence behind the tears inside the lies a thousand slowly dying sunsets god knows what is hiding in those weak and drunken hearts guess the loneliness came knocking no one needs to be alone no singing Be cold as a stone and rich as a fool that 
Great place to meet and great place to eat. What? Gavin has 365 lakes, aka the Lake County. Things to do in Calvin kayaking, forest parks, geopark, and the River Shannon even rises in Calvin. This is driving art scene with bands such as the Stripes, Zen Arcade, Face Off the Earth, Blue Tack and the Green Horns, and of course, us, KCD. <laughs> Is Misha Bevan of Yachtus Augus Hotchek Fakent Air Garage Land Galaxy a Crinuna Og Fairfairdown? Garage Land on Crinuna Og and on RTE2XM. We first recorded Never Ending Dream in the INEC thanks to a man called uh, Clint Fitzgerald and all his team from Kerry Colleges. When we first arrived, we didn't expect to see the eight camera setup they had and all the sound and lighting crew from the INEC. It was a great experience and we thanked them all so much for it. Never in a Dream was the second song I ever wrote and like many songwriters, I don't actually know the meaning of it, to be honest. And um, it came after the first song I wrote, which is called Another Chapter Ends, which is out, which is out on Spotify and I'm very proud of them both. Never in a Dream is just such a song, fun song to play. Like all originals, it was hard to put together at first and wasn't sounding great, but the more we practiced it, the better it got, and now we like to think of it as one of our best originals. Um, you can follow us on Instagram on Aftershock.band, or Facebook on Aftershock.band, Shirley. We're hoping to be playing lots of gigs during summer. We already have many booked in uh, Killarney, uh, Castle Gregory, Cork and Galway. And we hope to see loads of you there. And uh, thank you so much for listening. So we're trying out a few different funny camera angles because you got me all day uh, for a little while until Ayanna uh, joins us a little while later. Uh, this is Garage Land Galaxies on RT2 and online. And me, Darren Lambert, and that was Alana Pierce. We also on the show today have a number of special guests. And to kick things off in the special guest category, this is Crisper Kid. the needle and soon she did the same on their 17 your boys and their idea for her being in a gang called the disciples high on crack toting the machine gun Oh 
dirty five years since that message All you wanna do is cry Seeing trouble echoes your history You're bringing trouble, you're bringing strife Purdue Farm and Oxycontin Sack, we're still a big tribe Half a million gone, more to follow It's hard to swallow, thinks he is in exile Club in Birmingham. Sales talk creases the family doctor with the tickets to Disneyland. Here's a mission, fill the prescription. Come back in a month, we'll increase the so Death wish in a capsule, brother. Swindle by the very people. You should trust the more. Garage Land on Crinion and Oak and on RTE 2XM. Hi, my name's Vaughn and HIT stands for... HIT? <laughs> Hi, my name's Sophie. Hi, my name is Sarah. The band name is HIT. Hi, my name is Vaughn and HIT stands for... Heart, Instinct, Talent. My name is Victoria. My name's Neve. My name's Jane. The best thing about uh, the Midlands is there is it's a very musical area. Um, they have the wholesome kitchen. Who? <laughs> <laughs> they have the wholesome kitchen in Mullingar. The wholesome kitchen. Yeah, you should try it sometime. What is, what's the wholesome kitchen? It's a restaurant. A restaurant. <laughs> what, what, kind, what kind of food is the wholesome kitchen? Have wholesome food. food. Excellent. Yeah. So, should people travel to the Mullingar just for the wholesome kitchen? Definitely. Yes, definitely. The best part about living in this sort of area in Ireland is that um, you can kind of go out, go for a walk, get some fresh air, and in that sort of way, it kind of helps me um, really open up my creative uh, mind space. You know, sometimes it even gives me um, inspiration for tracks as well. And uh, but um, unlike urban areas where you might not have that opportunity, it's great that I live around here, so I have that opportunity to just you know get some oxygen, clear my head, and um, get some inspiration for some of my tracks. Cool. And welcome back to Garage Line Galaxies on RT2XM and online with me, Dermot Abbott. I'll be joined throughout the day with lots and lots of more presenters who are far more interesting than I could ever hope to be. We will also have a workshop which we filmed last week with uh, some of the young people from the Factus Irish Speaking Group and from um, young people from all over the country through, through Zoom. Uh, on that workshop we will have some luminaries. We'll have Willie Cavanagh, uh, former head of EMI Records Ireland and the chairman of the Irish Recorded Mu uh, Music Association. We'll also have Will Ryan who manages Hosier and is currently looking after um, Moncrief and Moncrief will be joining us later in the show for a couple of words on his own. We also have Lisa Geddes who does press and PR for Bellex One and for Snow Patrol and we will have Jackie Hayden. Now Jackie Hayden co-founded um, Hot Press Magazine and signed U2. So there. Now we're going to finish up the show uh, with the section of the show I should say with the magical Anna Kearney who's going to be joining us also later today in the National Concert Hall. 
to my radio near the end It seems to make a lot more sense Than what I see ahead of us Ahead of us, yeah I'm ready to make that turn Before we both crash and burn Cause that could be the death of us The death of us, baby You know how to drive in rain And you decided not to make a change Stuck in the same old lane Going the wrong way home I feel like my heart is stuck In bumper to bumper traffic I'm under pressure Cause I can't help you Let's just go back to the way it was When we were on Honeymoon Avenue Honeymoon Avenue My baby, coasting like crazy Can we go back to the way it was? What happened to the butterflies? Guess they encountered that soft sign Oh, my heart is at a yellow light, a yellow light Hey, who right when I think that we found it Guess that's when we start turning around You're saying, baby, don't worry But we're still going the wrong way I feel like my heart is stuck in bumper to bumper traffic I'm under pressure cause I can't help you that I want. Let's just go back to the way it was when we were on Honeymoon Avenue. Honeymoon Avenue. My baby, coasting like crazy. Can we go back to the way it was? Hello, we're Aftershock. I'm Dara, I'm on rhythm guitar. I'm the lead guitarist, Corin. And I am uh, the lead singer, Connor. Unfortunately, our drummer, Seamus, and our bassist can't make it today. Today we're going to be talking about our favourite thing from the place we're from, Tralee, County Kerry. We played uh, mini gigs in Watford, Ennis, Kilkenny and Cork, but there's nothing like playing in Tralee um, to our own fans, which we've built up over the past few months. Uh, in Tralee, they show great support, such as coming to our ticketed gigs and non-ticketed gigs throughout the past few months, and we definitely wouldn't be able to keep going without our fans in the hometown of Tralee. They bring the most lively atmosphere and we just love them so much.
Club Ogafiakis. I was at Tusse Fak and Dare, Garage Land Galaxy Egg, Krinina Oak, Slang Fall. Garage Land on Krinina Oak and on OTE 2XM. Uh, the video of Kilby Girl is us playing at a fundraiser concert we did for Ukraine and it was filmed by one of my friend's dads and he filmed on its really big camera and then he got some outside shots and it was really cool and yeah, it's, it, that's how we got it. This is Kilby Girl.
can find a funny course to do, babe. That's not the problem. And welcome back. This is part two of Garage Line Galaxies at Cranion and Oak with me, Dermot Lambert, online and all over the world and on our T2XM. So we had uh, Florence Road just there. Now Florence Road actually sent us this video in a couple of months ago and then we couldn't actually find the band because they didn't send us any contact details. Ensued a huge detective job and eventually we found them and we're all very happy. And they are playing on the Arclo stage later on today. Before then we had Aftershock from Kerry. Now when I was travelling around Kerry for a few months earlier this year looking at venues and meeting people about uh, Galaxies, um, Aftershock got mentioned again and again and again and again and again but they can't play today because they're doing their leaving so they sent us that video which is from the INEC which is very very impressive and well done lads and good luck with the leaving so now we're going to move on to the um, workshops. So we, a couple of weeks ago, we're in the offices here now in Terran Europe in the, uh, the Garrison offices. So a few weeks ago we had uh, a workshop uh, which is a QA and a with some of the uh, music industry experts and some of the young people involved on the other side of the, of the debating table, put it that way. So we had Willie Cavanagh um, who was at EMI Records and he's the chairman of IRMA. Uh, we had Jackie Hayden who signed U2 of course and also f uh, founded uh, Pop Press Magazine. We had Lisa Geddes who does press and PR for the likes of Snow Patrol, Ben X1 and we had had uh, Will Ryan who manages Hosier and um, Moncrief who's going to be on the show later today and also who uh, looks after the Cronus. And what happened was we had a Q&A, so we had young people from Factus, uh, Irish speaking uh, group, we had um, our own Ayana, we had Nina who was over with us from Germany, we had uh, the girls from Melody Productions, we had a whole heap and whole load of people and we also had Dylan Short who was on a Zoom from, um, from Kerry. It's very exciting stuff. So this is part one of that workshop. Hello and welcome to Garage Line Galaxies on uh, RTE 2XM online with Queenie and Oak. I am here today with a whole panel of young people who are going to ask a whole panel of extremely experienced people a bunch of questions about music. Today our, our guests are Willie Cabinet, who is the chairman of the Irish Board Music Association and former head of EMI Records. We have Jackie Hay, who founded Hot Press Magazine, along with Nile Stokes and of course Maureen. And we have the wonderful Lisa Geddes, who is press and PR for many giants of Irish music, including Bellex One and Snow Patrol. Uh, over here we have Loretta, who is in charge of Factus Music Group, and she's brought some of her young people along today to co guest with us. So we have Hannah and Ethan. Um, over this side we have Kerry Ann and Caitlin from uh, Magic Productions. Hello, 
Very good. Uh, for this side, we have Nina, who's been working with us from Germany for the last couple of weeks, who's finishing up today. We're going to be with that now. Okay. Uh, we have Clara, who's on the show with me. And we have the wonderful Ayanna Church, who's going to be representing all the whole thing. So, to kick things off, we're going to go straight over to Hannah for a question number one. Hannah. Uh, hey, and yes, we what do they want before they sign an artist? I mean, that's a very open question. Um, look, I think managers and labels look at things differently at the start. Um, a manager you would hope would come on board when he sees potential in an act and that they need help and he can provide help. Um, so that's kind of a an important trait for any manager to bring in whereas labels kind of come on board when there's a certain level of demand for the for the recorded product and they can bring on their marketing and promo teams and help with recording the a and r process and um, getting you onto radio and getting you beyond beyond ireland and into other territories i think um while we it's at the start managers and labels probably look at different things then eventually they get on the same page and try to build an artist's career together and um, Willie, what is it that a manager or record company wants before they sign to an artist in your opinion? Uh, what a manager of a record company wants to see uh, in an artist is somebody who is extremely confident in what they do, incredibly talented, and they need to be saleable. Because the only way that a record company can ever make money by signing an artist is that that artist is going to sell records and not necessarily records anymore, as we know, it, because, you know, the spot, 90% of the sales these days come out of Spotify. Yeah. So that artist songs have to translate into sales. Yes. And if they don't translate into sales, then there's no money to reinvest in the artist for the next track or the next album or whatever it is. So what you need is absolute confidence that what you're doing is hugely important within the music industry and you have hit songs to sell to people. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Guys, Luke, Oak Club, 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 song is called Your Game. Standing there watching as you pass along Seeing all your faces, asking what went wrong Filling me with heartbreak, calling my name Making me part of your game Whoa. Reload Reload Whoa. You know Reload You think you're gonna get a rise You think you're gonna take your aim You think that I'm gonna cry But no, I'm not part of your game You think you're gonna get a rise You think that she's not okay But one thing you should know I know I'm not part of your game Not part of your game You're gonna 
You think you're gonna get a rise You think that she's not okay One thing you should know I don't want not part of your There was a time when love was blind And the world was a song And the song was exciting There was a time Then it all went wrong I dreamed a dream in time gone by When hope was high and life worth living I dreamed that love would never die I dreamed that God would be forgiving Then I was young and unafraid And dreams were made and used and wasted There was no ransom to be paid No song and sung, no wine untasted but the tigers come at night With their voices soft as thunder As they tear your hope apart As they turn your dream to shame Slept a summer by my side He filled my days with endless wonder He took my childhood in his stride But he was gone when autumn came 
And still I dream he'll come to me And we will live these together But there are dreams that cannot be And there are storms we cannot weather I had a dream my life would be So different from this hell I'm living So different now from what it seemed Now life has killed the dream I
And that was Swordfist filmed recently in Fibbers as part of a pre-production ahead of today's proceedings. Swordfist have been special guests with us today and they've been playing in the garage gigs with us for years so it's great to see the guys taking part in today's proceedings. Before that we had uh, Roisin Vigers and Roisin and her brother Fionn are taking part in today as well. Fionn is going to be on the stage in Wicklow later on today at the skate park in Arklow. And uh, before that we had the wonderful Cora Harkin uh, from Derry Donegal and she is going to be uh, playing later today in the RCC in Donegal. We are all over the shop. Before that of course we had the workshop and later, there's going to be another piece of the workshop later in this segment. Now these guys are full vetted.
I carry that in every question. So Lisa, how important is image? Um, I would say very important, but uh, depending on the genre of music. So obviously pop, I would say it's the most mm -hmm. important. Um, with pop artists now, if you're in a guitar band and you're wearing your black t-shirt and your jeans, I don't know if it's that important. People don't expect yeah. it of necessarily those bands. But overall, image and brand, I suppose, is really mm -hmm. important, um, especially now in the visual world that we live in. Yeah. Social media, your photos, everything mm -hmm. has to be of a standard. But, um, you know, you could do a whole kind of panel on, on branding and imaging, but I'd say, yes, it is important. Um, and I'll just keep it short in, in terms of, yes, if you're in kind of pop music, yeah. it's very important. Okay, thank you so much. And Jackie, would you have a few words to say on image? Yeah, I remember um, Steve Avril, who does a lot of uh, image work for U2, and he's the man who came up with their name originally. His view is that, first of all, if it's a band, they should look like they're in a band together. Yeah. That uh, having somebody somehow standing out uh, as if they don't belong in the band isn't a good thing. And also, and this is the hard bit, the band should look like their, their music sounds. Mm -hmm. It should there should be a match. So that if you think back to people like the Beatles or Nirvana or whoever, somehow they look exactly like the music that they made. The Rolling Stones. There's endless examples of them, and I think it's important to get those to do things right. Yeah. Uh, but I think that's something that you can only work out by instinct. There's no mm, rule book you can go to. There's no guidelines really. You have to just think it through. Uh, as I'm, I'm on the band, but you can't really yeah. oppose it. Yeah. Yeah. But you would you have a few words on, on image? Yeah, I, I, what Jackie's saying, I think it is spot on, but you have to sound like you look. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when you think about Oasis, and you wonder, you know, why did Oasis break up? And you think, well, because not all of them looked and sounded the same. Yeah, yeah. Like the two brothers didn't even like each other, let <laughs> yeah. alone didn't dress like each other. Yeah. So sure. I mean, it, it's yeah. there's a there's a whole juxtaposition going on as to where was the image going with that whole process, mm -hmm. and the yeah. the image wasn't going in the same direction. And when they both split up and they had their own images, they both made great records, you know, yeah. which is fabulous. Yeah. 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 Image is. I mean, I think it's important for any artist to have like a, their unique selling points. So unique voice and unique look being the two obvious that, you know, fans and our label radio look for. Um, you know, an image across how a band's social media look, how their Spotify looks, you know, you got to have consistency. You know, if, if you're going to keep changing your look between releases, it doesn't make sense because people don't get a chance to identify you identify with you across what what your what your kind of image is so if you if you take like when the white stripes for example started they had that very definitive red and white look and you know for the first couple of releases people knew exactly what it was um if you look at an example closer to home uh on Moncrief's first releases in his first ep we had a very definitive shaved head look with the white vest um across the first ep and all his live performances so when people saw the videos or, or photo shoots or photos from gigs, there was that consistency. So it allows people to join the dots together rather than you constantly changing and people not joining the dots together.
And that is the fantastic Dylan Short from Kerry. Uh, Dylan also can't perform live this year because of his leaving, but he sent us that lovely video, and Dylan actually sent us in last year this really cool combined four piece of himself playing different instruments, uh, inspired piece of video work that we've actually used in promo for the whole year ever since. So uh, well done, Dylan, um, and uh, and look forward to seeing you again next year. So over to these lads here. This is uh, Rama. And before that we have uh, Holly and Hannah and Luke and we took a visit out to Blessington to a Music Generation Blessington and we met Todd and all the gang out there and we filmed a lovely day of filming and this is part of it. Just learning to love Just starting 
Why are you doing this? I don't get it. Because you're pretty! <laughs> <laughs> Daisy, don't question why I'm recording you. You don't open it. Okay. Doing random things with this. The city sky is feeling dark tonight We're back to back with our heads down Just look at me, give me more tonight Just give me more of your love now Let's set fire to the lonely night You're beautiful when you look at me Let's give love another love Take the pain, take it all away Just give it some kind of meaning Let's let go, let it be the start You know I'm feeling the same thing Let's let go of your broken hearts Cause you'll be sad Even if it's gonna break me, love, gonna 
For my song Rocky. Um, so, um, pretty much how it was made was um, step one made the song, step two gather my clips, um, which was the longest part. Um, so the song was made back in December, so I had like loads of time to gather clips. Um, um, so in April, I performed at the Cavan IT Win Big Song Contest final. Um, I didn't win sadly, but um, it was still a really cool experience. Um, so that is the footage of me in like um, a red plaid shirt, um, and you know it's on the stage, there's people watching. Um, then there was at the very start of May, the seventh of May, um, I was performing at the summer fete in my school, um, and that's I'm wearing like kind of black clothes, um, and there's a smaller but still audience there. Um, those were the two clips of me performing Rocky, um, which might sound weird, but um, the rest of the clips are kind of B-roll. Um, it's all of my general area, because I really wanted to promote all the interesting parts, um, which is detailed in the other video. Um, then there's a couple of clips from like anime and stuff, um, and that's kind of just to represent globalization with the internet and everything, how accessible different cultures are. <clears throat> Like I can hop to Netflix, watch Japanese anime, produced by people of all different nationalities and ethnicities, which is, it's really cool. Um, and the song was made using techniques from different cultures um, and kind of musical systems. Um, nothing too crazy, but it was just, I really liked being able to integrate my different cultures I wouldn't otherwise experience without the beauties of the internet. Um, yeah, then kind of a step that's step two, I guess. Uh, step three was editing. Um, that I spent two days on. Um, I think a total of, it says here, eight or nine hours. Um, which isn't a whole lot for video edit, but um, I didn't want to go like too overboard. Um, I didn't have time to really be adding more clips, because I really would have liked to just have the Rocky performances. But it was very static and very kind of boring, so I wanted an engaging video. Um, yeah, then it was just kind of like, the red filter is just colour compressor, it's just getting everything that's coloured and shifting it over to red. Um, and it was just, it was a nice filter that being kind of over the top. Um, then just kind of there's chops and edits uh, that are on beat. Um, and that's all good. Then step four was just subtitles, intro and outro. Uh, and they're pretty self-explanatory. And yeah, that's about it. Um, so that's how I made my video in a nutshell. And yeah, thanks very much.
So this is us Garageland out on the road and we are in Wicklow as we're getting ready for the Arclow stage which we're putting in in a couple of days time and I'm out and about while Susie is back in the office doing all the edits being helped and abetted by Paul. I'm here and in the car behind me over there, a little silver car in the middle, you can see Joe and Paul who's here today as well. So that was um, Insult who are going to be playing in the National Concert Hall later on today and who uh, are that is taken from a gig that we did quite recently and uh, before that was Alana and Juliet Pierce and Alana and Juliet will be featured more on the show later on today and now we're going to go over to part three of our workshops and there's lovely Wicklow in the background hello Arclow hello everybody now I believe Caitlin has a question for Willie what subject do you have to do in school to get into a music college well Good question, Caitlin, I have to say. Uh, I think it would be unfair of me to say that you should do music, because that would be very clearly obvious that you have to have music. But I, I do think you need lots of other things as well. Uh, just being down the music cocoon is not going to be great for you. You, but you need to study maths. You need, need to know how you're ever going to work your money out and how you're going to be an artist, because artists have to live on money. You know, we all have this illusion that everybody lives on art, and the truth is you don't. Mm -hmm. So you have to be very practical. So you have to, yeah, to be honest, the advice I would give everybody is work really hard at school, get your leave insert, and make sure that you've got something, and if possible, go to college and, and do all that stuff at the same time as you're doing music, because music isn't necessarily always going to give you a living mm -hmm. and a lot more people a lot more people fail at music than succeed at music so always be ready to jump ship and go that didn't really work for me i need to do something yeah. to make a living mm -hmm. thank you thank thank you. well what do you think well what subjects you have to do in school to get into music college well it depends really on what music college you want to go to. So some of them sit outside the CAO system uh, and then some sit within the CAO system. So if they're the likes of Music in Trinity or any of the Institutes of Technology, you'll have to do your core basic subjects um, and look at the requirements for each college. Then you've got colleges that sit outside the CAO system. So for example, BIM in Dublin, that a lot of music students go to now, they, they have a separate application and a separate aperture test for applications and again look up their website all the criteria will be there um but they sit outside the ceo so you don't need i don't think you need to see i think you have to do your leaving cert as part of the criteria but it's not done on the points that other things like trinity or ucd will be done as it's michelin on snowball disaster it's tough to accept in the garage
repeating the words I never got to say the first time around. And I remember everything from when we were the children playing in this fairground. Wish I was there with you now. Cause if the whole world was watching, I'd still dance with you. Draw highways and byways to be there with you. Over and over, the only truth. Everything comes back to you. You still make me nervous when you walk in the room. Then butterflies, they come alive when I'm next to you. Over and over, the only truth. Everything comes back to you. I saw that you moved on with someone new In the pub that we met he's got his arms around you It's so hard So hard And I want to tell you everything The words I never got to say the first time around And I remember everything from when we were the children playing in this fairground Wish I was there with you now Cause if the whole world was watching I'd still dance with you Draw highways and byways to be there with you Over and over the only truth Everything comes back to you Walking home at 6 p.m., darkness slowly caving in, wondering if I'm being judged or not. Silence isn't all I hear, gunshots fired and many tears, sirens ringing out from afar. Yeah, the rain is pouring down, but the only thing that's keeping in this world they won't stop me now you gotta know how to survive in this world of darkness your body's examined and your mind is drawn by these nasty people you gotta know how to fight and live on your own in this world of darkness 1 p.m. I check my phone so I'm notified by the tone of messages coming across the world. Yeah, he said that and she said this. Oh my God, they're so famous. Videos of them bragging while these people dying. The angels crying now. And the rainbow ends as we watch the sun go down. Stop me now You gotta know how to survive in this world of darkness Your body's examined and your mind is thrown by these nasty people You gotta know how to fight and live on your own in this world of
that was the wonderful Fionn Whelan and he is going to be playing on the Mead stage today and um, then of course we had the girls from Hit and thanks to everyone for putting that video together for us it's absolutely fantastic it's a bit windy out where I am now because where we are now is Arklow North Beach Skate Park and this is what Arklow North Beach Skate Park looks like today this is Thursday the 2nd of June as we're filming this and by Saturday the 11th of June this is going to be a totally different situation altogether and that is what we're dealing with for right now and for uh, moving on with the acts we're going to go to this I guess I haven't grown much, I'll stuck in your shadow long enough to adopt to the hell You're a killer, live a thriller, fill her up with a pretty bed Stay a woods, bunk, did the lock of a broken mirror Sinner, supposed to roast in the year until I derail Pity nothing else suffices, roads pale As we all lose colour, it's only our minds that pay the prices It's the same Outside the malady is bland, yeah, it's all too impossible to understand. So, no strong enough to accept it, not even I can. Silently as they finally see 
see that already I just want appreciation for my creation This flow sucks, hmm Needs a variation I want my air for a off Shot through the heart with the sawed off Ready for a takeoff I'ma need two mics just to get my point across No applause What the hell? Did I do? I don't have a clue Am I the issue? Maybe I lack the fortitude to try to court you Cause I adore you but I can't self love My love it's tough but you're cute enough not to bluff I'm like Rocky with the boxing gloves Stack up your phones like a million bucks Amen, they say you can only live once Cause most time the sequel sucks Just feeling looking for love But it's still cool just to dream And because inside my head Telling me evil thoughts While I'm searching to see evil thoughts Give me a word to let the crowd applaud To the word and we give you what you want No game like real heart, real talk Broke a genius to work of art Anxiety, anxiety, tripping no reality I'm sitting on this couch with buddy Anxiety, anxiety, sat silently As they finally see the irony you like Rocky with the boxing gloves, but you're not strong enough to make me feel I am enough. Best stop, everyone got their own problems. Like Rocky, but I got my weakness. Left and red, left is speechless. Left for dead, now I feel less. Gotta calm down, deep breaths. I'm like Rocky with the boxing gloves, this growing guy better be larger enough. All the fighting has been causing us to wonder whether we got enough. Feel paranoid at the watching us. I don't wanna die on, on this bus, but what they did prompted us to fight back up. God forgives us, cause I'm aware of what conflict does, wondering what content will buzz. See, I'm breathing for a purpose, to keep running from those murderers. Cross country doing me favors, I recommend you run from the haters. Not with the grain of salt, with the potatoes, you can feel it from your head to your toes. With the rhyme and raps, I do the most to wild just to write those lines. Perfectionist metaphysics are the limit of this relentless. I in the antidote, I'm a therapist, I've put it a coat, diminished raw, turned the rope, continued to cough, forgot how it escaped, time for improv. Jackie, what would you say is the best way for asking for help as an artist? Just... Um, well, I suppose this sort of flies in the face of all my rock and roll rebel instincts, some of which I still have. 
but actually being polite and saying excuse me and please and I'm sorry to interrupt you yeah. and all of that sort of stuff which people might find hard to grasp when you're in your late teens and you want to challenge the world but I think you have to bear in mind that the people that you're looking for help from in the vast majority of cases you're interrupting them at their work mm -hmm. if you're ring ringing a producer at a radio station or if you're ringing Dermot when he's in the studio or whoever it might be you're interrupting them yeah. and I think you should be respectful of that and I think if you approach it that way people are more likely to listen to you there is a very old-fashioned idea that the way for success, particularly in the rock end of the market, is to be very aggressive and belligerent and bullish and loud. And very occasionally it works, but most of the time it just <laughs> people off and they just want you to go away. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. This is the Arklow North Beach Skate Park. And behind me there is the skate park, just there in there. And over here is the back of the leisure center. And over here is a big field. And what's happening in this big field is we're gonna come in this entrance over here behind me, bring in here over to there. The stage is gonna go up there. And we're gonna have the camera set up over there. And this is where people are gonna come in. And it's gonna be some fun. So that is the gig in um, Arco later today, as you're seeing it on the 11th of June. Um, 2022 as part of Cranion and Oak. In this section we just did was uh, Jack Lawler, absolutely super. Then after uh, before that we had Patsy Joe Cullerton, who I'm a massive fan of, I have to say, since last year's Cranion and Oak Garsland. And um, then we had the wonderful Ruby Moss, and Ruby is in Mead today as we speak.
Everything sliding into its place I feel for expressions to save us I already know it's all on the way I wave a wave that can take us And I taste it Not only on the tip of my tongue It's all gone Color the face when it's all done You don't have to waste it Now you belong so long, not till it's all gone, color of The silence of passion is only one who sees this manipulation. In my mind, when we come from your side, <laughs> leave a look, leave you blind, or leave the river to wake up. The rhythm, the grip on you inside. Sorry, this of the rest that can take us. Till it's all gone Till the face and it's all done You don't have to waste it Now you held on to it so long Until it's all gone Till the face Sorters, thank you. Thank you. What's the most annoying thing someone can do when they're asking you for help? Keep emailing you over and over again. Emailing you way too much info that doesn't is irrelevant. I think we're very lucky in Ireland that we have an industry that's grown quite significantly over the last 10 or so years. And the majority of those people, whether it's managers or lawyers or labels, are, are very generous with their time and will, you know, answer most emails. So if you if you want to reach out and look for some advice or a meeting or a coffee, I think be very succinct and short Look what you're looking for rather than throwing a load of waffle or links that don't work or, you know, emailing a festival like independence and saying, dear Electric Picnic, can I play your festival? Or if you're emailing me, you know, rather than saying, hey, Willie, saying, hey, Dermot or whatever, you know, don't, if you're copying and pasting, make sure what you're copying and pasting is relevant for the person that you're sending it to. Because if you're a new act and you're trying to reach out to managers, well, your email should be de very different to the label, the emails you'd be sending to labels and be very different to the emails you'd be sending with radio. So my advice would be keep your emails short, have a fact sheet on PDF where people can click the links, but don't clog up people's inboxes by 
attaching MP3s or calling them the wrong name. You're watching Garage Land Galaxies on RTU 2 XM and me, Dermot Lambert, online and all over the world. And we're just finishing a little day of prep here in Arklo. We've been in Waterford this morning, getting the running order together for the Waterford Cultural Quarter and doing the lineup and all the stuff that goes with that. And now we've been over here in the skate park in Arklo, getting ready to put the Arklo stage together with the crew here. We've eight different crews all over the country. And we are now in sunny Arklo on a lovely day. This is the Thursday before the Thursday before Saturday. There's the crew, there's the lads. So in that section there we had um, we had Surface, uh, special guests, great friends of mine and brilliant band. And we also had the Floats who are in the National Concert Hall today, no less. And as we look out on the lovely sea, there you go, there's the Irish Sea, and there's our club behind us again. And we're gonna finish out this section da, 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 with the violet lamps who are in Castle Blaney today. See you later. CD, and this is our original, The Underworld.
Hi, my name's Sophie. This is the band Hit. Uh, our song is called This World and I wrote it. Hi, my name is Sarah. We created our video using performances and practice clips. Hi, my name is Victoria and we performed at our school festival a few times. Hi, my name is Neve. We also performed at a gig in Cavan. Hi, my name is Vaughn. What's our message, Neve? So for anyone out there wishing to pursue their musical dreams, just remember that don't let the sky be the limit because there are footsteps on the moon. That's from HIT. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jane and we hope you enjoyed our video. Bye! Bye. Bye. So this is Gary's on Galaxies on RT Two XM and online with me, Dermot Lambert and Claire Lambert. Claire, what's coming up next? Next in the next section, we have Electric Seaweed, Juliet Pierce, and the Super Special Gary's on Workshop. Ooh! And in the last section, just there, we had KCD and we had uh, Callum McKenna. So, Super Super Gary's on Workshop. Mhm. Mm yes. Super Special Gary's on Workshop. Oh, I see. It's very special. Dear Cordius Yar, it's Michel Clona left Yachtus to two feckin' air garage land galaxy a Crinina Oak.
the platform watching you go it's like no other pain Uh, hi, Mari. Um, my question is, um, in your opinion, uh, is it better to, perform, to promote artists through live performance or through social media? Both. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that for me? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think both. Yeah. Um, it depends, I suppose, on what stage you are with your live setup. You know, if you're amazing live and you're that's what you want to do and you're ready to be in front of audiences um absolutely go for it but some bands develop first on social media before they even play a gig so it's but but absolutely before you do either you have to be yeah, definitely both so but i'm sure the guys will expand on that well, i wouldn't mind uh, saying there's you know we, we all have this great assumption that all bands have the same objective yeah mm. and the truth is they don't uh, you get some bands that evolve on the live circuit and um, we've seen that over the years about some bands who are just superb live and, and they grow from that live entity into developing songs and when the songs are developed, like if you go back years ago there was a band called The Police and The Police signed to a record label and they, they signed to the label so simply because they had built up such a huge live audience that the record label couldn't say no. Mm -hmm. It was they record labels were fighting to sign that band. Now other bands like Arctic Monkeys, uh, you know, have, have come along 
and they broke via allegedly via the internet and one of the early bands to break by the internet. And you've got all these bands, that's the social media side of, you know, we did it on social media, the police did it on live, other, I'm taking just those two as, as examples. And you've got to take it that everybody will have their own objective and will have, will know what they're good at. And if you're great live, and you know you're great live, that's the side you evolve through, you know. Mm-hmm. If you're great uh, at social media and you're great at use of the internet and you know, you're a TikTok star or you're whatever, go that route. But know what your objective is before you start, because mm-hmm. not everybody's the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Do you agree with that, Jack? Yeah, I think there's always a danger in assuming from the start that there's somehow there's a sort of a, a magic formula out there, a, a five-step program. If you get these five things right, then you're home and dry. But you really have to find your way through what is a fairly complex music industry and the music media and sometimes you have to try things to see that you don't really want to do them that you don't want to play live and that you have to find another way to get your music out there but i think it's wrong to make assumptions at the beginning i think you make the assumptions after you've tried something and learned from it And just there we have Fionn Whelan and coming up we have Jack Tiernan, Chris Brickhead and See, Ewan it's hard. McAdam. I know it's hard, this isn't easy. We make this look easy. It's hard, isn't it? It is. Garage Land with Dermot Lambert on 2XM.
Dim ag sfatig i Gard Land Galaxy Crinny na nog. Is mis a cara as fiachtis spali rigin. Hello, Ruby Moss here. We Can Change is an original song. I started writing this song when I was in sixth class. I released it last year as part, part three of my climate trilogy. This version is sadder and I've changed some of the lyrics. But I hope you like it and I hope that we can change. And thanks again to Dermot Lambert and everyone at Garage Land for this opportunity. This is Step Into The Sunlight by Ewan McAdam. <laughs> This last one is a climate change song. It goes out to the parents. Raise a glass to the apple tree. They can reveal the Raise a glass to the apple truth that the world will be for the baby's suit. Cause he gave his kids lives at sight. Song the way to the world apart. Teachers and the me, cause of them the world's gone to hell. Listen to me now, it's time to rebel. I'm not a nation, I'm a generation. I'm not a nation, I'm a generation. But the mindset, your nation, these are not superstitions. 
set a big thank you to everyone who came out i love you all i'm gonna hug you all uh thank you to dermot lambert and the sound techs and garage land that's us goodbye um i guess lisa uh can we on earth this mo or when it is secure will grow that with us um i think Gosh, I don't know actually. I suppose well being here still is a pretty good achievement, I think. After all these years. I don't think when I started off I thought I'd be still doing music maybe twenty years later. Um I don't think I've won thing. I think what I think what I loved over the years was and I think what the guys would probably say the same, is when you work with a band from the beginning, which I have, you know, many, many times, and they play their first gig to like fifty people and then they play Whelan's, and then they play, a couple of years pass and they play Vicar Street, and then they play the Olympia, and then maybe they might end up playing the Three Arena. Now that doesn't happen to all bands, but <laughs> when you've been on that journey with the band, I think it's, it's really satisfying, it's really a proud moment, because you know you've played a part, and obviously you have a small part, but you've played some sort of part in it. So I think uh, rather than naming one moment, that would be kind of something I'd be proud, proud of. Okay. Yeah. And Jackie, what would you say would be your proudest achievement? Um, I, I probably don't really think of pride in, in that way. I'm not terribly bothered about being proud of anything. When I look back on over the many years and decades of being involved in music, I think I like the fact that I took my work seriously. Mm-hmm. I did the best I could. I, I, if somebody was to say I screwed up on something, I'd still be able to say, yeah, but I still did my best. Mm -hmm, And I like the fact that I'm still interested and I'm still involved. I still want to hear more music. I'm fascinated by the endless mix that music creates. There's never an end to it. Next year, we'll hear things we wouldn't have imagined Mm -hmm. this year. And somehow, somebody out there will think of them. So I, I like that aspect of um, my time in the music business. I'm glad I've been in it. And I'm glad I'm still in it. Uh, maybe someday I'll be asked to leave, but not so far. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> and Willie, what would your answer be to Well, I'm going to start off by saying Jackie is far too uh, shy um, <laughs> because he, he's the first guy who signed you too. So I think if that's not a proud moment in anybody's yeah. career. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Trump is everything. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so you, uh, I've had nothing as successful as Jackie in that. Uh, the, we did. I, I'm very proud to say we, we always invested in any record label I was at, like CBS in the early days, uh, for me, was the signing of Cry Before Dawn from Wexford, the four of us, and uh, two or three other bands that, that uh, you know, didn't make it as well as those two did. 
And then when I went to EMI Records, we said we had Blink uh, with Dermot and uh, Mick Flannery, um, John Spillane, and numerous other artists that, that uh, we signed that were uh, hugely successful in Ireland. Mm. Not as successful abroad, which is why, you know, it, it's crucial to get artists to have a long life, they need international sales in general. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, with the current situation, sorry, what, there, what are my proudest moments? One of my proudest moments is that I spent a whole career in the business. Yeah. And, uh, and I, get, I got to, unlike most people, I got to retire. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and even after post-retirement, I still run the industry body. So uh, I'm still involved and uh, I'm happy to do events like this yeah. because if this is me giving a little bit back, and it's the same with, with the other panelists, I know that, uh, that if, if we give a little bit back, it's something that we're proud to do on the basis that we've had careers in this business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And Will, is there anything that would stick out as a highlight for you that would be like a proud achievement in your career? What's my proudest achievement in music? Whoa, whew. Um, I suppose the fact when I started off music, being able to have a career in it, looking back now, that in itself an achievement. Um, being one of the few music lawyers in Ireland is an achievement, I guess. Um, but in terms of what's, what's, what stands out, um, I think being in New York, the week of Hosier releasing his second album and it going to number one and all the billboards in Times Square having ads up for the album and it being number one. That was, you know, because people thought, you know, Take Me to Church was obviously a massive, massive song. The first album did so well, but the fact that we were able to repeat it and go again and have a US number one with the second album, I think that was an achievement for the entire team. Um, working with the Cranberries, you know, as a kid, they're the reasons I got into music when I heard Dreams in 1994 and I heard that the band were from Limerick that you know that kind of triggered my interest in music so roll on years later when I actually work with the act that's that's kind of a career highlight finding Moncrief and working with him over the past three years through the pandemic and now getting to see him sell out venues and stream millions and millions of times that's that's getting him signed to Warner Records in Germany that's that's been an achievement Still working with the Coronas 15 years later, you know, about to release the seventh album. That's an achievement, I guess, that, you know, we all feel very proud about. And just seeing the Irish industry grow over the 10 or 15 years I've been working on it. You know, we, there was a time where Irish bands struggled to get anywhere. And now, you know, we compete with the best in the world. You know, when I first started working in music in the early noughties, 2000 to 2002 or thereabouts you know it was an achievement for an Irish band to sell out the Olympia now it's considered a starting point to go on um so yeah so yeah many highlights I'm very lucky very fortunate hi I'm Ewan McAdam I live in Greystones County Wicklow one of my favorite things about living here is that it's so easy to get places it's so easy to get into the wilderness if you want to go to the beach, it's just a 10 minute walk. If you want to go into the forest, you can just walk to Kindlestown. It's just so easy to get everywhere and we've got such great facilities. So I'm from Ballyfreen in South Tipperary and you know, it's your, it's your basic village. You know, there's not too much there, but I have to say the views there are lovely. We're right between the Knockmill Downs and the Galties. So you have the greatest walks, the greatest views, you know, and nature might not be everyone's cup of tea, but I have to say, I'm quite fond of it because you've just, you've all the nature, the wildlife, it's all kind of like the old Ireland like, kind of stuff with the walls, the old houses, it's all kind of stone. thing is the, the roads are a bit kind of bumpy when you do go up the mountains, but we also have the, the V behind us, but again, that is kind of more Clahean, but not too far away. But, you know, that would be my favourite thing about it, really. It wouldn't be, as I said, the most exciting of places, but it looks great. <laughs> 
So this is Garage Line Galaxies online on 2XM and everywhere and we're all over the country, eight live locations. And uh, this is the this look this is the production office, it's all crazy here. Uh, we are organizing lineups and all this is a week before the event by the way, so we're we're filming this on Saturday to something to, of, of I think it's the fourth of June. Um Claire, who's up next? Young Vigers is up next. Oh, you got that one, go. Very good. Yeah, you can be the greatest, you can be the best, you can be the King Kong banging on your chest, you can beat the world, you can beat the war, you can talk to God, go banging on his door, you can throw your hands up, you can beat the clock, you can move a mountain, you can break rocks, you can be the master, no way for luck, dedicate yourself and you go find yourself standing in a hall.
A band called Nika, a bit controversial. <laughs> They're from Belfast and they sing Asquelga. And they are so big that they their latest show is the Olympia. And if you've seen the footage, everyone is singing along. The whole of the Olympia are singing yeah. along Asquelga. Well, there yeah. you go. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah, reach their yeah. gigs. No, but I love their music. But it's a sight to behold because I did not think that that could be possible. So, there's a, two other bands, the Scratch and the Merry Wallopers. They're more on the traditional side and they're coming up there. They sing half English, half Asquelga. But I would say Nika from Belfast. I think they're from Belfast. The Belfast are dead. Yeah, false. Yeah. And they, if you watch this, the footage from the Olympia, everyone knows every single word in Irish and they're singing along. What style of music are they? It's a mixture of trad, hip, hip hop, it's, it's really yeah, so hip hop. Yeah. 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 Rapping, yeah. Yeah. Heard them. rapping, and yeah. rapping yeah. in Irish. Yeah. So it's incredible. Not. And, they and they're about to play LA play. next week. Wow! Oh, wow. wow. And in a showcase, and I think that's going to be really interesting. They're for me, it's really like good. Good translate from Ireland. To, yeah. So we'll see after next week when they play LA with their translation. Yeah. But they're, yeah. they're incredible. Wow. They're yes. not. Yeah, they've got a good sound though because actually that's the band that we heard that we were like blown away by. Yeah, but they sing totally as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you so this is Gar's Land on RT2XM and online with me, Dermot Lambert. And I am travelling the length and breadth of the beautiful country that we live in, um, where we stage eight different uh, live shows and we get videos and performances from young people from all over the country for this Gar's Land Galaxies at Cranian and Oak 2022. In the section that we just had there, we had Dylan Short from Killarney. Uh, Dylan was with us last year and he's going to be, uh, he was also on our Zoom meeting that we had with the workshop, which is also in that section. We also had Aoife Riley, who we met um, recently in um, Blessington and Eva was great and she was there with our man Liz. Hello Liz! And uh, we also had that, in that section we had uh, Tegan Nolan and uh, Tegan offered to play on the uh, Buskin stage and we said absolutely no way we're going to get you on the stage. So she is playing um, Castle Blaney and Eva is playing in um, who if he's playing Wickle and uh, Dylan isn't playing because he's doing his leaving so good luck at the leaving Dylan and uh, next up we have the wonderful Ryan Borman Dear Dick, it's Michelle 
Ireland, a club of get doctors. I just thought to wake back at their garage land galaxy and quit in the oak fat fat up. Slow the ball! Garage land on Crinian and Oak and on RTE 2XM. Hey guys, so I'm from Athlone, right in the middle of Ireland, and yes, I know I'm wearing a Dublin top, but we'll let that slide. Um, I suppose one thing I love about the town that I'm from is local businesses, radio stations, newspapers are always so helpful in promoting my music, playing my music, and supporting my social medias, and you know, help me get out there, especially at Lone Community Radio. Um, they've really, really helped me. They've got me on for interviews every time I release a song, play my new songs all the time on their station. So yeah. Uh, my name is James Tunnel. I'm 16. I live in Greystones, County Wicklow. And um, my favourite thing about my area is that it's right beside the sea and I love bringing my dog for walks on the beach. Oh, my God. 
daddy takes her round town She appears composed So she is, I suppose Travelling around the length and breadth of, of Ireland. That was James Fennell. Uh, James is playing on um, the Wicklow stage today as part of Garage and Galaxy Set Queen. You know, I'm all out of breath because we're going up Melton at this stage. Uh, you're on the way for me. Keep an eye out for me around the country generally, and you shall see, you'll see that there's Dermot Lambert there doing galaxies. Um, in the next section, we have Tanks Mum and we have the wonderful KCD. Garage Land with Dermot Lambert on 2XM.
Thank you. Next one's called Tears. room 
uh, with my guitar and a microphone and a camera from my phone uh, to record the songs and I started making songs in 2018 when I was eight years old and I started the guitar when I was seven, so 2017. And from 2018 to now, the, the songs that I've been making have been a very higher standard, uh, especially during quarantine, so 2020, 2021 and 2022, because uh, I, at that time when quarantine was going on, you had nothing to do. So I just did, um, made more songs, you know? Uh, I just want to give some motivation. I want to say thank you for giving me an opportunity to do this and giving me a chance to um, have a do this. Uh, uh, my friends and family, I'd like to say thanks to them. I also want to say Keep at whatever you're doing. Keep working as hard as you can. Eat because that thing will not come to you. Even if it's outside of music, just keep going for it and working hard and hard and keep practicing whatever you're doing. And don't just let it go onto the side. You have to keep at it and you just have to make sure that you're giving the right decisions for yourself. At one stage when I was writing songs, I completely scrapped one song because I didn't think it would sound good, but yeah, um, I hope you guys have a lovely day.
Three shots standing off from Garrison and Acker in the log. Go by yourself, that's brilliant. Dylan, thanks for joining us. Perfect. Have you any more last questions? Thank you so much, everyone. Bye. 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 Cordius Yar is Michel Clodagh Left Yachtus, Tattoo Fekin Air, Garage Land Galaxy, and Crinina Oak. Garage Land on Crinina Oak and on OTE 2XM. Now, if you're going to be doing a tour of Ireland, it's good to do it all on the same time at the same day. So this is Garage Land Galaxies at Queen Inn and Oak 2022 with me, Dermot Lambert. We're in eight different locations and nine of you include online. So we're in Donegal, Dublin, Wicklow Water for Tipperary, Castle Blaney, Kerry and Mead. Uh, we have stages live all over the place right now today. Uh, it's great. There's about 120 acts taking part, uh, young acts between the ages of 12 and 18. Uh, we have a whole other pile, probably another 100 or thereabouts on, um, on video that are part of the, uh, the pre-recorded episodes that will be going out now for all of the rest of this week. So uh, the live <coughs> broadcast, we're showing as much as we can today given that you have 50 hours worth of material uh, and we're trying to show it all in five and a half hours. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to show the, um, the whole rest during the week on all these same platforms. So there'd be a Dublin special, a Waterford special, Kerry special, Wicklow Water, you get, you get the idea. Um, and that'll be all during the course of this week on this same uh, platform that you're watching here. So um, I, in that section there we had Violet Lamps and we had Six String Crash. Uh, Violet Lamps are in Castle Blaney today and Six String Cra uh, Crash are part of uh, Baz Roycraft's um, project. And I'll be talking to Baz uh, for a few minutes in the next section. So stay tuned and we'll see you later. Hello, we are a band from Cavan and Monaghan and we'd just like to say a couple of words about how much we love Monaghan. I like how quiet it is. The road to the airport. How spacious it is. The homegrown grapes. I love King's Court. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Trina and I'm 16 years old. And my name is Mikey and I'm 16 years old. Have you been listening to me together since we were 16 years old in the Hura and Lake Snack and I live in Listol. And I live in Lake Snack. We're both from the county Kerry. So this is me, Dermot Lambert, uh, standing in the middle of a field in Ireland, as you do when you're on tour of Ireland. Uh, there's a couple of cows over there, so it's one, two, three, four, five, five, five cows looking straight at me. Um, up in the next section that we have, um, we have, who do we have there? Is, oh, thanks, mom. Thanks, mom. Um, and this, uh, this is great. I also want to say thanks to the guys from the workshop, Willie Cavanagh, Will Ryan, Jackie. Hayden and uh, Lise Geddes and all the gang that, that uh, asked all the questions. It's uh, a lot of fun. So keep it up and we'll see you in the next section. So to make my video I used some new equipment that I got for Christmas. I got a new mic stand, a new mic and stuff like that because I want to make my videos more professional. And then my dad helped me record it because he's a photographer so he filmed it for me. Oh, 
underneath your father's wing As the damnedest thing used to be The heart of the night So the Your kisses is like A prominent marker Etched up the white You know, you know, you know, oh, oh. you know, you know, you know,
Too many cardboard gangsters, too many snakes and fakes. Snakes and fakes. I need to ask you a question. Tell me what you think's real nowadays. Nowadays. Let me tell you what's real. what's real. Real is when your woman is exhausted. You tell her to rest and then you make her a meal. What's real? real is about having the balls to look up the courage of the world that you feel. What's real? real is about rising first in the morning and making sure things in check. What's real? real is about holding it down and focusing on what goals come next. What's real? Family, friends, life, grinding every day and night. I'm making my best friend my wife. I'm building a kingdom, leaving a legacy, so they remember me, so they remember me, so they remember me. And when the day comes that I don't open my eyes, I'm legendary. What's real? Real's about laying awake, stressing so your own blood don't have to. Real's about building a bond with those who stuck by you just like a tattoo. Real's about raising your girl to be queen and raising your sons to be king. What's real? Real's about providing for those that you love. Real's not just what you bring. Real wants show everyone's veins. It's up to you to choose if you'll be the one to use it. Real is something I have gained, and I promise my fam that I know I never will lose it. Real's about struggle. Real's about pain. Real's about rising above, try again. Real's about failing. Real's about learning. Real's about going for what you're deserving. Real is a blessing. Real is a curse. Real is knowing good times are coming when you feel that the days are only getting worse. Real's about looking at the skies to remind yourself of all the pain and the past that you felt. Real's recognizing that you have the courage to search deep inside and show them your strength. Real is the message I bring. Real is the message I sing. The message I say. I know too many men that made mistakes and their sense of real means being stuck inside of a cage. Not just temporarily, I mean these men will be there for the rest of the days. Ask yourself what's real.
on and I'm just trying to tell ya that there's always been a rainbow hanging over your head. Yeah, there's always been a
Hi, my name is Fionn Vigers, I'm 13 years old, I live in Arklow, County Wicklow, just in the countryside. My favourite thing about where I live is I have my friends everywhere around me, and the rugby club and the sea are just beside my house. The two songs I'm doing are Electricity from Billy, I Billy Elliot, <laughs> to my bad, and Hall of Fame by the script. Thank you. 
I haven't grown much, I'll stuck in your shadow long enough to adopt to the hell You're a killer, live a thriller, fill her up with a pretty vest Stay a words bunk, did the luck of a broken mirror Sinner, supposed to roast in the yard till I derail Pity nothing else suffices, roads pale As we all lose color, it's only our minds that pay the prices I used to say, yeah, I hear you so things stay the same Special enough to get by, but it's never an issue if it's a white lie. It's no privilege to those on the outside, no matter the it's bland. Yeah, it's all too impossible to understand, so no strong enough to accept it. Not even I can. This song is a cover by Ed Sheeran uh, called Sing. It's late in the
Fionn, and you're watching Garage Land Galaxies at Crinion and Oak. Garage Land, where young people's music gets hurt! Do you have a spot to Garage Land Galaxy Crinion and Oak? Is Misha Cara as Fiatis Body Regin? Garage Land on Crinion and Oak and on OTE 2XM. So, Broken Mirror is the song that I performed for you here on these videos. And um, it's a it's an original song. I made it. I made the, the music, the vocals, I made them on GarageBand on my iPad. And, you know, I have a busy house. I have two brothers. So I end up singing them in the car. But um, how I make my music anyway, it's just mess around with sounds until I find a melody I like. On, like, keyboard anyway. I'd put that down. I'd imagined my melody would be like the main thing, but I usually end up really focusing on the bass of my songs. Then, you know, throw in the drums, the other sound effects, it all ends up sounding fine. And then I add the, the lyrics. And the lyrics, I kind of like when I use the high voice, because I kind of, I pronounce things, I think I think I pronounce them okay, to be honest, um, when I'm singing anyway. But for the, I just, I like to add rap, because I kind of, I like poetry. But poetry isn't really too easy to sing if you have loads to say. So rap is kind of like a spoken word thing you can just throw in, say as much as you like. It ends up sounding kind of cool. I'm quite happy with it anyway. So then for the video, it's kind of a case of, I just have it playing in the background. My iPad is right beside, um, behind the phone here. And, you know, just playing that, singing to it, record it, send it on. That's kind of all there is to it. So... That was the amazing Ruby Moss, and this is Thanks Mum.
Well, I don't think of liking genres because I like music right across the spectrum from jazz and classical and Indian music to rock and pop and Irish trad and whatever. So I don't think of genres. I think mm. of artists that I like. Mm. And there are, in every genre, there are probably artists I love and some I tend to ignore and don't spend much time with. So that's where my head is at when it comes to thinking of what mm. I like. Mm -hmm. I, I'd probably be the same. I love all genres. I like. I do, I've never worked in pop or hits, but I, I love. <laughs> you know, yeah. I, you know I, I love watching the scene. But I suppose the the work I've always done has been a little bit left to centre, alternative, independent, indie guitar, like singer songwriter, mm -hmm. and that's what I'm really good at, and that's what I'm good at promoting. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I like I like classic, I like jazz, I like loads. Of, I just love music. Love music. That, that's probably why we're all working in it. <laughs> Well, can I say thanks to everyone for attending tonight and taking part? And say thanks to the guys, thanks for Will, Scream Middle, and uh, to, to Dylan. And thanks for that. I also want to say special thanks to Loretta, Nina, and Neil over here, mm -hmm. and to Ayanna for being our in house scouts. <laughs> and a special, special thanks to Caitlin and her sister for travelling all this way to get here. And now I have to thank the girls from Balbriggan and thanks to Clark. Yay! It's great to see so many females. I know we didn't get to the question on diversity, but it was just, I just realised when, when we did ask, when we were going to ask that question, I was about to get look around the room and go, there's no, from this side, there's no men, which usually there's in the music industry, so there's, way around. No, there's all, yeah. all women yeah. here tonight. Yeah. Yeah. But nearly, like on Galaxies, Almost all of the managers I asked to are women. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's, it, it is changing, yeah, yeah. yeah. When I started, it was yeah, like. It's a good thing. I can't really explain it. I haven't got the words. It's a feeling that you can't control. I suppose it's like forgetting, losing who you are, but at the same time, something makes you whole. It's like when there's some music playing in your ear, and the music is impossible, impossible to hear, but then you feel it move me. Like a fire deep inside Something bursting me wide open Impossible to hide And suddenly I'm flying Flying like a bird Like electricity Electricity Sparks inside of me And I'm free I'm free uh, I recorded my video on my school iPad um, and for my message I would just like to say a big thank you to uh, the Garage Land team uh, for like letting us have this opportunity to yeah, perform and get our music out there. So.
watching Garage Van Crane Zoak. That was James Fennell and Fionn Vigers. And coming up, we have Ryan Boardman. And they're all playing in my club today. Good luck, lads. In the last clip, I spelled poor Ryan's name wrong. So here's how you really spell it. My name is Ruby Moss and this is my original song, Stranded. I wrote this song in 2019 after a cycle with monthly cycles. The whole day was hot and we were talking a lot about climate change during the day. I recorded this live version with Rowan and Al from Beardfire because we'd been jamming together and I always heard guitar for the song. I play a little bit of lead on this track and it is my first time to play lead on a recording. I chose Stranded, my second single release, and part one of my climate trilogy because it was the first song I finished and the words are important. This was released in September 2021 and it got to number one in the iTunes charts. I have a special relationship with this song. I'm dedicated to I'm dedicating it to monthly cycles and to all the climate ambassadors. Thank you to Garageland and especially to Dermot Lambert for this opportunity and to Rowan and Al for inviting me to jam with them. You all rock. Great place to meet and great place to eat. What? 
Gavin has 365 lakes, aka the Lake County. Things to do in Calvin. Kayaking, forest parks, geopark, and the River Shannon even rises in Calvin. This is driving art scene with bands such as the Stripes, Zen Arcade, Face Off the Earth, Blue Tack and the Green Horns, and of course, us, KCD. <laughs> You're watching Clareland Road Garage Land. Next up we have Orla McDermott and Kingdom, followed by Squish the Kid. Stay tuned. It's been seven hours and fifteen days since you took your love away. You've been gone, I can do whatever I want I can see whomever I choose I can eat my dinner in a fancy restaurant But nothing, I said nothing could take away these blues Like a bird without a song Nothing can stop these lonely tears from falling Tell me baby, where did I go wrong? I could put my arms around every boy But they don't remind me of you I went to the doctor and guess what he told me Guess what he told me He said, girl, you better try to have fun No matter what you do But he's a fool Nothing compares Planted mama in the backyard All died when you went away I know that living with your baby was sometimes hard But I'm willing to give it another try
Uh, our band name is Kingdom, and this is the hate song. Just don't care about what you say, I'm done playing your super game. So calling me pretty names, I'm not yours. I say that I'm not angry anymore. Then I remember you slammed the closed door. Call me names, use my anger for your fame. You still an asshole, the same. Want you to know that I hate you. You hate me too. Don't want anything to do with you Because I hate you Yes I do I wish there was a world where I never met you Taking chill pills and medication Every day without you is my vacation I'm moving to a new location so Say your last goodbyes Or if one now you can leave me be I hate you but I love that I'm about to leave And you're not the guy you used to be It's a sign of the time Because I hate you and you hate me too And I don't want anything to do with you Because I hate you Yes I do And I wish there was a world where I never met you
Opie of Marley Peg, and you're watching Claire Lambert with Irishland. Yo, my name's Squish the Kid, I'm from Waterford, Ireland, and I'm a rapper. Uh, one of my main songs is called Explode, and it, like it's it's kind of like a, a double meaning for having like explosive energy, but as well as it was my first song on, on all platforms, so I was kind of like exploding onto the music scene with this new sound and new energy. I'm performing in Garageland, and I hope I can see you all there. Sometimes I Simmer down and pucker up 
I'm sorry to interrupt, it's just I'm constantly on the cusp of trying to kiss you. I don't know if you feel the same as I do, but we could be together. Say tomorrow day, crawling back to you.